Deep in our solar system, a stunning world spins gracefully, capturing the fascination of astronomers for centuries. Welcome to the mysterious realm of Saturn, a gas giant filled with secrets. From an oddly shaped hexagonal pattern at its North Pole to mysterious downpours falling from space, recent observations have raised concerns about the future of Saturn's rings. In the distant future, Earth's inhabitants may not witness the majesty of Saturn's rings. But why do astronomers believe they are on the brink of disappearing? And what are those peculiar movements along Saturn's rings? The first close-up images of Saturn, captured by the Pioneer 11 spacecraft in 1979, marked the beginning of our exploration of this celestial giant. However, it wasn't until the arrival of the Cassini mission in 2004 that scientists began uncovering the true wonders of this ringed world. As we delve deeper into the study of Saturn, the planet continues to unveil its secrets, emphasizing how much we still have to learn about its intricate nature. Saturn, the second largest planet in our solar system, boasts a core about half the planet's radius, weighing around 12 to 20 times the mass of Earth. A fascinating fact is that Saturn would float in water if there were a reservoir large enough to hold it. This is due to the gas giant's low density approximately 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter, making Saturn the least dense among the planets. However, Saturn's uniqueness doesn't end there. While most planets in our solar system appear as nearly perfect spheres, Saturn stands out as the flattest of them all. With an orbital period of approximately 10.5 hours, it spins rapidly, causing the gas giant to bulge at its equator and flatten at its poles. The planet's diameter at its equator measures about 75,000 miles, spanning around 68,000 miles from pole to pole. Saturn's distinct yellow and gold bands, visible from Earth, are the result of super-fast winds in its upper atmosphere, reaching an incredible speed of 1,100 miles per hour. Yet upon closer observation, a truly bizarre feature becomes apparent, a colossal hexagon pattern spanning about 20,000 miles in diameter. This inspiring hexagon, transitioning from a bluish shade to a golden hue, might initially appear as a meticulously crafted megastructure, adding to its mystery. Cassini's high-resolution images were meticulously compiled to create a breathtaking animation, revealing this phenomenon in vibrant color for the first time. Within the swirling vortex of the hexagon at Saturn's North Pole, a colossal hurricane takes place, featuring an eye surpassing Earth hurricanes by a staggering 50%. Reddish vortices surround the hurricane, swirling in harmony with the counterclockwise motion of the hexagonal jet stream. Inside the hexagon, there's a notable difference in the composition of particles compared to the area outside. The enigma of Saturn's hexagon adds another layer to the captivating secrets of this remarkable gas giant. Inside the hexagon, there are lots of tiny haze particles, while larger particles are rare. Outside the hexagon, it's the opposite. What makes this six-sided storm so fascinating is its incredible endurance. Unlike Earth's hurricanes, which typically last only a week, this remarkable hexagon has persisted for decades, or maybe even centuries. So how does such a massive storm form? A computer simulation revealed a fascinating process called deep thermal convection. When heat moves through fluid or gas, it creates atmospheric flows that lead to the formation of large polar cyclones and an eastward jet pattern at high latitudes. When these atmospheric features come together in Saturn's upper regions, they give rise to the unexpected hexagonal shape observed at Saturn's North Pole. The hexagon's long-lasting nature is a result of these storms forming deep within the planet, thousands of miles below the cloud tops. Scientists haven't found any other storm like this anywhere else in the universe. Saturn's hexagon showcases the wonders our universe can create, but it's not the only intriguing feature on the planet. When studying data from the Voyager spacecraft, scientists noticed something peculiar, mysterious spokes across Saturn's rings. However, during the Cassini mission, no signs of these ghost-like features were detected, deepening the mystery. Upon closer observation, Researchers found that the spokes generally look dark when viewed from above, but when observed from below, they tend to appear bright. The exact cause of these mysterious streaks is still uncertain, but scientists do know that they reappear seasonally during Saturn's spring and fall. Similar to Earth, 
Saturn experiences four seasons, but each of Saturn's seasons lasts approximately seven Earth years. The spokes are thought to originate from dust particles in the rings that separate from icy chunks and float independently above the rest of the icy boulders. Saturn's magnetic field might play a role in this phenomenon. When the solar wind interacts with Saturn's magnetic field, it creates an electrically charged environment that influences the behavior of the charged dust particles, making them temporarily stick together and form denser patches. Saturn's rings, although other giants in our solar system also have rings, such as Uranus, Saturn's rings are the largest and most distinguishable. The seven rings were named in the order of their discovery, positioned along Saturn's equator. The rings begin approximately 4,300 miles from the planet's core and stretch outward for a staggering distance. The E-ring alone encompasses a distance of about 75,000 miles to 260,000 miles. To give you a sense of scale, imagine a road extending across the entire length of Saturn's E-ring from its outer wisps to the inner boundary. If you were to drive continuously at a speed of 100 miles per hour, it would take over 2.5 months to travel from one end of the road to the other. Taking into account the tenuous Phoebe ring, it extends approximately 100 to 270 times the radius of Saturn. Much like the distinctive shape of the planet itself, Saturn's rings are incredibly flat. Detailed observations indicate that while in certain areas, the rings can reach a thickness of approximately 0.6 miles. The main rings are astonishingly slender, measuring a mere 32 feet in thickness. Saturn's ring particles have a wide size range, spanning from minuscule icy grains resembling dust to substantial fragments comparable in size to houses. There are even a few exceptional particles that reach dimensions the magnitude of mountains. But we didn't always know about Saturn's rings. Nearly four centuries ago, when Galileo first directed his telescope towards Saturn, he described the gas giant planet as having ears or handles, which were, in fact, the elongated bulges that we now recognize as Saturn's magnificent rings. With his modest telescope, Galileo could not discern the intricate details of the rings, leading him to mistake them for large celestial bodies positioned on either side of the planet. Today, we think we know almost everything there is to know about the mighty rings of the sixth planet, but it continues to shatter our expectations. The particles within Saturn's rings, almost entirely water ice, are engaged in a delicate equilibrium between two opposing forces. Saturn's gravitational pull attracts them towards the planet, and their orbital velocity strives to propel them outward into space. Scientists have long wondered whether the planet evolved with its rings, and the latest findings show Saturn hasn't always had this peculiar feature. For more than 90% of the gas giant's lifespan, the planet had no rings. So how and when did they form? One possibility is that the rings originated later in the planet's existence, when small icy moons orbiting Saturn collided with each other. These collisions might have been triggered by the gravitational influence of passing asteroids or comets. A 2016 study proposed another intriguing idea that the rings could be the remnants of dwarf planets. This theory suggests that dwarf planets, which met their demise in the distant past, now exist as the enigmatic rings encircling Saturn. Alternatively, it could have been one large moon that collided with Saturn's largest satellite, Titan, in the past. Scientists have identified a potential moon called Chrysalis that existed before Saturn's rings formed. Through computer simulations, they found that Chrysalis was similar in size to Saturn's third largest moon, Iapetus. In the past, Saturn and Neptune's gravitational interaction caused the ringed planet's axis to tilt and wobble in sync with Neptune's orbit, leading to the changing angles at which we observe Saturn's rings. Titan exerts its gravity on the planet, and moves away from it rapidly, while our moon also moves away from Earth, but at a slower pace. Around 100 to 200 million years ago, Titan and Chrysalis entered into a resonance, and as Titan migrated outward, the gravitational forces destabilized Chrysalis's orbit. This caused Chrysalis to approach Saturn and get torn apart by its gravity. Nearly 99% of Chrysalis was absorbed by the gas giant, and the remaining 1% left behind the stunning ring system we see today. According to a recent study, 
The age of Saturn's rings is approximately 100 to 400 million years, but their existence may soon come to an end. A true celestial marvel causes Saturn's majestic rings to melt away, and in another 100 or so million years, they will disappear under the influence of the sun's radiation, or plasma clouds caused by space rock impacts. The dust particles of Saturn's rings sometimes become electrically charged and disturbed, leading them to bind to Saturn's magnetic field and draw inward toward the gas giant's upper atmosphere. As the gas giant orbits the sun, the planet and its rings tilt, changing the amount of radiation output on its inner ring layers. This affects the intensity of the icy ring rain. NASA says the sixth planet's ring system is depleting at an extremely fast rate. It's estimated that every 30 minutes, it loses an Olympic swimming pool volume of water. Just recently, after four decades of research, scientists have revealed the cascade of ring rain pouring down onto Saturn has an impact on the planet's atmosphere. Every passing second, an astounding amount of up to 6,000 pounds of icy particles, previously bombarded by solar ultraviolet radiation, gracefully descends onto the planet. As these particles make their atmospheric journey, their accumulated energy is transferred to the surrounding environment through collisions with other particles. This energetic exchange contributes to Saturn's atmospheric heating and may cause glowing bands in the planet's northern and southern hemispheres. But it's not the only rain on Saturn. Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, shoots jets of water ice into space from its underground ocean. Some of these tiny particles are influenced by Saturn's magnetic field and gravitational forces, causing them to rain down onto the gas giant's atmosphere. This phenomenon is known as moon rain. Saturn's ring rain is a cocktail of chemicals, including some organic compounds. It consists of water, butane, propane, methane, ammonia, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and molecular nitrogen. In the future, this cocktail could change the oxygen and carbon amounts in the gas giant's atmosphere. This alone isn't enough for any life to emerge on Saturn, but what about its moons? Just recently, Saturn once again became the king of moons of the solar system. 62 new satellites have been found orbiting the ringed planet, which adds up to a total of 145 moons. But to scientists, particularly intriguing are Titan and Enceladus. Both of these satellites possess at least one essential ingredient for life. Titan is known for its thick atmosphere and abundant organic molecules, including complex hydrocarbons, which are considered building blocks for life. While Enceladus has a subsurface ocean of liquid water, making it a promising candidate for hosting life or supporting the conditions necessary for life to exist. Titan possesses a dense atmosphere resembling that of a planet similar to Earth. Its atmosphere is predominantly composed of nitrogen. Additionally, Titan has rivers, lakes, and seas on its surface. However, unlike Earth's water-filled bodies, Titan's liquid reservoirs consist of methane and ethane. Methane is a compound associated with the metabolic processes of many organisms, serving as a source of energy. Although it's highly improbable that the lipid-based membrane crucial for sustaining life on our planet would endure Titan's inhospitable conditions, such as its freezing temperatures of about minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, scientists have proposed an alternative possibility involving a molecule called acrylonitrile. One of the unique properties of acrylonitrile is that it's potentially capable of forming stable and flexible structures like cell membranes, forming a thin sheet-like material. This sheet could then shape into a small hollow sphere called an exotosome, similar to lipid bilayers. These exotosomes could act as microscopic containers for storage and transportation purposes. What's fascinating is that the ALMA Observatory has detected significant amounts of acrylonitrile molecules in Titan's atmosphere, up to 2.8 parts per billion. Scientists believe an abundance of this chemical reaches the surface of the satellite. Throughout the existence of Titan, researchers calculated that Ligea Mare, Titan's lake, could have gathered sufficient acrylonitrile to create approximately 10 million exotosomes in every milliliter of liquid. To put this into perspective, it surpasses the abundance of approximately a million bacteria per milliliter of coastal ocean water found on Earth. Set to launch in 2027, NASA's Dragonfly drone will examine the satellite in depth and finally bring us closer to understanding whether life could form on such a celestial body.
Until then, we might discover even more candidates for the existence of extraterrestrial life within our solar system, so stay tuned here to be updated on the latest breakthroughs in space exploration. We hope you enjoyed watching this video.